Okay, this has happened to you. You were driving down the highway and you're hangry. But those highway signs telling you what's available aren't showing you anything you want. All right, that idea got us wondering, how does a business actually get on one of those signs anyway? Because if a business is on it, they get business. Well, Sharon, you hit the road today to figure it all out. Life is a highway, and if you want to ride it all night long, you're going to need to stop for food and gas at some point. We serve euros, cheesesteaks, wings, burgers, a lot of different stuff. It's really good food. These signs technically serve as a menu from which you choose your next move from the car. But for small business owners, this simple visual means the world. Take Slim's in Brooklyn Center, for example. A lot more people coming in just from the highway, you know, at a drive-by, they pull instead of going to Culver's or something, they come here because they like to try something different. There's no way Slim's has the same name recognition as the competitors it sits with, but on a logo sign off of 94, it's a fair game. <laughs> equal size, equal play. How many people, I guess if 10 people come in in a day, how many of those people would say like, oh, I saw your sign off the highway, so I wanted to check it out? I'd say maybe five, four or five maybe. A few dozen miles away off of 35E, owner of Blue Heron Grill can say the same. Can't prove it, but I, I know just from the people that come through and what I hear, and so I'm sure, you know, it's no different than putting up a big billboard. Uh, you know, that's, <laughs> we couldn't afford that, of course. <laughs> For a family-owned joint one mile into town, this is truly the best advertising they could get for about a thousand bucks a year. We feel it's well worth it, yes. Minnesota Logos, which is a company that MnDOT contracts with, shows that it's $600 per year to have your company's logo on the main line sign. For a smaller ramp sign, it's $120. As long as your restaurant serves at least two meals a day during normal meal hours, is open at least six days a week, has bathrooms, and can accommodate at least 20 people, you're golden. Yeah, I don't know what the traffic count is on 35E there, but it's high. And, you know, when you're in business, especially when you first open, you have to advertise and let people know you're here. There's nothing wrong with a Culver's or a McDonald's or even a Dairy Queen. But small business owners like Dave and Jim are hoping the next time you drive by one of these with an unfamiliar logo, maybe take that exit. Word travels fast if they had a good experience and they enjoyed the atmosphere and the food. Hmm. Well, all the money paid by businesses to get on those blue signs goes back to MnDOT and they tell us they use it to build and maintain the blue signs. How do you like that? All right, we'll be right back.